All right then gang, so we've seen quite a lot of different HTML tags in this course so far, but now I'd like to bombard you with some more, and they are the HTML5 semantic tags. So HTML as a language is always evolving, and there's always new elements that are being talked about or added to improve semantics and usability of websites. Now in the HTML5 specification, there were several new tags that were shipped in in order to help us better structure our content properly and I guess more descriptively as well, so that now a browser can be in no doubt as to what our content is all about. For example, say we put some content in a div tag, then the browser really has no idea what this content inside it really is. Could be an article, could be a biography, could be some quotes or some navigation links, etc. There's nothing really here telling the browser what that content actually is. Now, HTML5 semantic tags aim to make our code more meaningful and solve this problem. Well, it's not really a problem, but it makes our code more descriptive. So now we could say instead, this is an article and use an article tag. This is an HTML5 semantic tag and it tells the browser a bit more about what this content is. It's a bit more descriptive. So let's have a look at some of the different tags, the different semantic tags that came along for the ride with HTML5. So first of all, we have this main tag, and that's for the main content of a web page, the bit that's unique to that web page as well, and it's not on other pages. For example, it wouldn't include the navigation because the navigation is on all web pages, but it might include the content, the main content of the home page. So we have this main tag now for that. We also have a section tag, and that defines a specific section of a web page and that could be a blog list or contact information or something else. And we could have several different sections on a web page. So we're saying to the browser, look, this is a unique section and it's kind of sectioned off from everything else. It's got its own meaning inside this tag. We also have an article tag, which I just showed you, and that's gonna define a bit of content which makes up some kind of article. That could be a blog post or it could be a news post or something else like that. We also have an aside, and that's gonna define some content that's related to something else. For example, inside an article, at the bottom, we could have a little section that is for similar blogs, and that could be an aside, because it's still to do with the article, it's related to it, but it's not exactly part of the article, it's an aside. So we'd have those in an aside tag. We also have a header, and that's for the header of a website, things that could be on every page. It could be the title, the logo, the navigation, etc. And we also have a footer, and that's basically the footer, it speaks for itself. You could have contact information in it or a copyright notice, that kind of thing. There's also more, which I will show you as well, but let's dive into the code now and start practicing with some of these tags. So then my friends, for the rest of this video, what I'd like to do now is flesh out all the HTML for that mini project I showed you right back in the first video of this series for the Mario Club webpage. So to do this, I'm gonna be using a mix of HTML5 semantic elements, which we've just talked about, and also some other tags that we've seen in the past as well. So before I start, you're gonna notice that I've got this index.html file, very blank at the minute. I've just got a head up here, and that links to a style sheet, which is over here and there's nothing in there at the minute, so a blank style sheet. Then we have a title which says Mario Club, then a body as well. Now also, I'm gonna be using several different images in this project as well. Now I've already added those over here on the left. I did that by going to new folder and calling it IMG for image, and then just drop it in the images that I wanted. Now I'm gonna supply all of these images for you and you can find them on my GitHub repository. So I'm gonna leave the link to that down below, it's gonna show this page, and you can either clone or download, so download the whole zip file for the entire project, which includes the image folder, the finished index file, and the finished styles. Or you could just go into the image folder and each one of these files and right click and save as if you prefer to do that. So that's the images. Now let's crack on with the HTML for this project. So then the first thing I'm gonna do inside the body is a header tag. Remember, this was one of those HTML5 semantic elements we just talked about, and the header is meant to contain things like the navigation or the site title, those kind of things. So inside the header, all I'm gonna do is an H1, and this is gonna be the site title, and it's gonna be called Mario Club. Okay, so that's the header all done, very complex. 
Now, next, I'm going to do a section tag. And this section is going to be for the banner. So what I'm going to do also is give this a class of banner because we'll use that class later on to style this in the CSS. Now, inside that, what I'm going to do is, first of all, an image. And the source is going to be the banner. So it's inside the image folder. Then it's banner.png. So I'll say image for the image folder and then banner.png. The alt is just going to be something like Mario Club Welcome Banner. OK, so after the image, I also want a little div tag. And this div is going to basically be a little welcome message on the banner itself. So what I'll do is, again, give this a class. And that is going to be equal to welcome. Because again, we'll use this class as a hook later on when we want to style it from the styles.css. So inside the div, I'm just going to do an h2, and that is going to say welcome to, and then I'm going to do a br tag because I want to go to the next line, and I'm going to do a span tag as well because we're going to hook into this and style this word inside this span tag differently later on, and it's going to be Mario Club. Okay. So now we have this section done. That is going to be the top banner. And inside that, we just have an image and then a little section, this div right here for the welcome message. And that's going to sit on top of the image later on. So all of that is inside this section. So we're using our semantic tags quite well so far. OK, so the next bit is going to be a little navigation that lives under the banner. So to do that, again, I'm going to use an HTML5 semantic tag. We've not seen this one yet, but it's called nav. And I'm also going to give this a class because I might want to use this class later on from the CSS. And that is going to be main hyphen nav. And we can have hyphens in classes, by the way. That's absolutely fine. And inside this nav, I'm going to do a UL. And I'm going to do a series of list items. So each list item is going to contain a link, basically. And this is a common thing that I do when I'm creating navigations. I often put them inside li tags. So I'm going to do the first one and inside there an anchor tag. It doesn't matter where it's going to go at the minute because we're not going to create all of these pages. So I'll just say join.html and then the link text is going to be something like join the club. Now again, I'm going to give this a class because I'm going to style this link differently from the rest and I'll need this class later on to do that. OK, so the next li tag inside is also going to have an a tag. The href this time is going to be forward slash news.html. And then inside, we'll have the text be latest news. And then down below, we'll do another li tag, another anchor tag. The href can be forward slash games.html. And then inside, the text can be new games. All right. And then finally, one more. And inside that, we'll do another anchor tag forward slash contact dot html and then inside that we'll just say contact okay so now we've created our navigation and that again is inside an html5 semantic element nav intended for this kind of thing now the browser knows that this is a navigation now what i'm going to do is preview this in the browser so i'm going to right click and open with live server just so we can see what it looks like so far a complete mess but there we go. That's the HTML, not the CSS yet. So hopefully later on, it will start to look better. But anyway, let's carry on now with this template. So after the nav, we're going to have the main section of the website, the content of the homepage. So remember, I said we could use the main tag to do that. That's going to be the main content on this web page, unique to this web page. Now, inside this main tag, first of all, I'm going to have a little article at the top about the website. So that sounds like a good opportunity to do an article tag. So inside the article, we'll do a title, first of all, H2. And then I'll say there, it's a me, Mario. All right. And then underneath that, I'm going to do a paragraph tag. And inside this paragraph tag, just a load of lorem ipsum. So let me do that a couple of times. Lorem again. And I'll do it one more time. Lorem like so. OK, so we've got some dummy text now at the top inside this article tag. Then after the article, I'm going to show a couple of different images. Again, I'm going to put these in a UL and some LI tags. So each image is going to be in an LI tag. And typically, again, when I'm showing a list of stuff, 
I typically put them inside Elitax. It doesn't have to be a logical list, like a shopping list, if you want to use Elitax. It can just be a list of images or a list of icons or, you know, even things like this, a list of links. So I'm going to place the first image inside here. And in fact, what I'll do is give this UL a class equal to images again so we can hook into this later and create a selector so we can target this so inside this first one we'll do an image tag and the source remember has got to go to one of these so it's inside the image folder forward slash thumb hyphen one dot png okay the alt can just be something like mario thumb one very descriptive okay so the next one Inside an li tag again is going to be another image and this time the source is going to be image forward slash thumb hyphen two dot png. The alt can be Mario thumb two. Maybe when you're creating actual websites, then you give more descriptive names. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So that's why I'm doing these lame ones. Anyway, now we have these two images. I'm going to save and see if these look OK so far. No, they don't. But again, we'll make this look better later on. OK, so after those images, what do we want then? Well, that's going to be after the main content because it's going to start to be the footer now. And the first thing I want is a little section just above the footer, which is going to be a form for a user to join the mailing list. So I'll do a new section for this. And this is going to have a class of join. So later on, I can target this section with a selector looking for the class of join. And then I can style this differently. So we'll do an H2 inside and we'll say join today, exclamation mark. And then we'll do a paragraph tag. We'll just do some lorem ipsum in there. We don't need all of that. So let's just delete a bit of it. Just go back to the ID. And then after that, we need to do our form. So let's do that form tag. We don't need the action because we're not going to be sending this to a server. This is just the front end we're doing at the minute, the HTML and the CSS. But inside the form, we need an input field for the user's email. So we'll say input and then the type is going to be email. Now, I'm also going to give this a name property or attribute rather, and that is going to be email. And I'm also going to give this a placeholder. So we user knows what to type in, and that is going to be type email and hit enter to join basically. OK, and we're also going to have this as a required field now we don't always need a submit button in a form if you have the form in focus and you've typed something in and you press enter that also submits the form so i'm not going to put a button inside this form i'm just going to leave it as that okay so after the form i want one more thing after this section and that is going to be the footer and inside the footer we're going to do some kind of copyright notice so a paragraph tag and then we're going to say inside here the class is equal to copyright just in case again we want to target this later from the CSS and we'll say copyright 2019 Mario Club okay so hopefully that's not all gone over your head and you've seen how I've kind of structured this web page with a mixture of HTML5 semantic elements and also some of the elements we've seen previously we have used a div tag we have used UL an H2 a P etc OK, so let me save that now and take a look in the browser. This is probably still going to look absolutely hideous right now. If you came across this website on the Internet, then you would leave as soon as you possibly could because it looks so rubbish. But this is just the start. We've not done any CSS at the minute, but it is starting to take a bit of shape. At least we've got all the content on the page. And we're going to be adding CSS to this as we move on through the next few videos.